For some people, just the word spider is enough to evoke fear and terror, and others show an immense passion for these eight-legged wonders. The word arachnophobia comes from two roots, arachnid from the Greek arachne, meaning spider or spider's web, and phobia, fear, from the Greek phobos. The symptoms of arachnophobia are triggered by seeing a spider or something that indicates spiders are nearby, such as webs or egg sacs. For some, looking at pictures of spiders or hearing someone talk about spiders is enough to trigger symptoms. These symptoms can include overwhelming fear of being bitten or poisoned by a spider, which isn't true because they're venomous, intense anxiety or panic attacks, fainting, vomiting or loss of bladder control, avoidance of places that are thought to have spiders like gardens or corners, having someone check the room for spiders before entering, sweating, increased heart rate and increased blood pressure. Some scientists believe that there is an evolutionary reason for the fear of spiders. That venomous spiders were once very dangerous to our ancestors, so evolution has taught humans to fear them. Since some spiders are venomous, it's advantageous to our survival in the wild that we fear spiders. Those who fear spiders go to great lengths to keep spiders away. Therefore, they have less chance of being bitten by a venomous spider. This gives people who fear spiders a greater chance of survival than those who do not fear spiders. Arachnophobia may also be due to our cultural background. Spiders are eaten by humans as food in certain countries such as Cambodia, Venezuela and Papua New Guinea. As a result, arachnophobia rarely occurs in these countries. However, in the United States and United Kingdom, spiders are often seen in horror films, are made villains in children's stories and are believed to be unfriendly creatures by the general population. As a result, arachnophobia is very common in these countries. Additionally, if a young child witnesses a parent display fear of spiders, the child can learn this fear and develop arachnophobia. It's for this reason the causes of arachnophobia are still a mystery to this day. But it is worth noting, cues triggering fear and disgust of spiders have long been a topic of interest to researchers in this field. Previous research has shown that legginess, spider movement, spider size and hairiness or perceived danger are prominent cues associated with fear and disgust of spiders. So it doesn't matter what causes arachnophobia, the cues are always the same. It's also interesting to note that arachnophobia tends to develop between the ages of 4 and 10 years old and continues to develop well into their later years of life, sometimes never disappearing at all. It also, from studies, tends to affect women more than it does in men. But on the whole, arachnophobia can affect anybody. It doesn't matter your age, your sex or what you do for a job, arachnophobia can surprise you at any moment. Did you know there's even entomologists out there in the world who study insects every day that also suffer with arachnophobia? But all is not lost when it comes to this crippling fear of our eight-legged friends. There are treatments that are showing significant results when it comes to the treatment of arachnophobia. These treatments consist of exposure therapy, cognitive behaviour therapy and the use of anti-anxiety and antidepressant drugs. 
they have all been found to help combat the phobia. Also, from my experience with YouTube and talking to people with arachnophobia, just simply learning the truth about these animals is enough to turn fear into fascination. So I hope in time, with the continued education from everyone in the hobby, as well as its ongoing growth, arachnophobia will eventually become a thing of the past. Thank you for watching.